In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete beginner's guide to the Uber app. Now, Uber is basically an app that allows you to get taxis or transport from one place to another, and it's very, very useful, and I'll teach you how to use it today. So first things first, to go ahead and actually get Uber, you need to go onto the app store of your device, and you want to go ahead, search Uber, and download it. And once you've downloaded it and opened it up, you should be brought to this page here, or one that looks very similar. This is basically the login page, and from here you can go ahead and press continue. Now, the easiest way, in my opinion, to sign up for an account with Uber is just by putting your phone number in. And what it will do, it will just verify that your phone number works so that you can use your account uh, like that. So go ahead, put your phone number in and press continue. At this point, you're going to be prompted to put a four-digit code in. You should have got this code on your texts. So go to your text, check, and you should have a message from Uber. Go ahead and enter it just how they have shown you, and you should be able to press next and log in. So here we are inside of the Uber app, and the first thing I'd recommend doing is adding some kind of payment details to the app so you can actually go ahead and use it. So to do that, we want to go over to the bottom right where it says account, and we want to click on that. Now inside here, you're going to see your name along with your rating, but the one we're looking for here is the one that says wallet. So go ahead and click on wallet. Inside of wallet, you're able to add a ton of different payment methods as well as things like gift cards. So what you want to do is scroll to where it says payment methods and press the button that says add payment method. So go ahead and click on that. And you can either add a gift card, PayPal, or credit or debit card. So whichever one you want to add, go ahead and add it. And you can use Apple Pay, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the credit or debit card option. And here it's going to prompt me to put my card number in, expiry date, CVV, uh, postcode, and that's it. And you can press save and that will be saved to your account. Now, if you want to use Apple Pay, I believe you don't actually have to add it via wallet. You can just add it um, or just use it when you're trying to book a ride. So now I've gone back to the home section and you can see here I have uh, a thing at the top that says where to. So this is where you want to go. So what you want to do is type in the location you're trying to go and that should be the address. So you can either do postcode, um, you can do the first line of the address, just write some kind of part of the address in there and it will probably tell you uh, the rest of the address and you want to tap on it. So I'll just show you here. So you can see here I'm able to put in the location that I want to go to. So at the top, you've got the location that you're currently at. So that's your address or the address that you're currently at. And at the bottom, you have the address that you want to go to. You can see the circle is your address and the square is the address you're trying to go to. So type it in there and it will give you a list of them down below. Just tap on it and then you can go ahead and press done and that will take us to the next step. At this point, we're going to be shown a few different options for the cars we can go ahead and get. So we've got Uber X, which is the sort of fastest. You've got Green, which is the um, sort of eco-friendly option. You have XL, which is a bigger vehicle, and this can fit up to six people. You have Comfort, so this is going to be a newer car. I believe it's above 2014, potentially. Then you've got, also got Uber Pet, which allows you to have a pet in it. You've got Exec, so that's going to be um, executive cars, so things like Mercedes. And you've got Lux, so that's like the top of the line luxury cars. You also have these other options down here, like Train and Coach. And you also have Assist. This is if you need some kind of special assistance. And this will have trained drivers who are trained to deal with um, people that need assistance, basically. You can also see here... Next to each of the uh, names, so you can see at the top it says Uber X. It has a little icon of a person with a four next to it. That means it can fit four people. Below that, it has um, 11.30. That is going to be the approximate time you'll arrive at your location. And next to that, one minute away is how far away this specific car is from your location. And what you can do now is you can go ahead and you can press choose UberX at the bottom or whichever one you've choose or chosen. So if you've chosen chose the uh, green one, you can tap on that and press choose green. So you can go ahead and press that and that will book it. But let's say you want to go ahead and book it for a time in the future. Next to the choose button, you're going to see this little car with a clock above it. Tap on that. This will allow you to select when you get picked up at or when you get dropped off by. So let's say you need to be somewhere by a certain time. Let's say I need to be somewhere by... Uh, 425 I can go ahead and select that and it will mean that they're going to pick me up at the right time that means I'll get dropped off at that time so you can go ahead and press next and select that 
So once you press next, it's going to ask you to pinpoint your exact location. This just helps the driver find you. So you can just zoom in by pinching with your finger. So pinching and then coming out like that, that will zoom in. And you can just go ahead and drag it to the exact location you are. And you can press confirm and pay. At this point, it will prompt you to use one of the payment details you've used before. So you can use Apple Pay or you can use one of the payment details that we added to our account. But essentially now it's going to tell you that your um, trip is booked and then it will tell you how far away your Uber driver is. And it will show you on the map where their car is and it will let you know the number plate of the car uh, as well as the driver, their rating and all that kind of stuff. So that's basically how you use Uber. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.